Ramon. My husband and I have applied for a revolving loan. Got denied. We do have 16,000 in cash. So I just had an idea to just treat my cash as a revolving loan, which I'll use to pay off credit card. Okay, what you could do is take that 16,000 and maybe go get a secured personal revolving line of credit. You said you got a revolving loan. So I think we might wanna correct our wording there because I know the, the banks make it confusing with the terminology sometimes. So you wanna make sure you apply for the right kind of debt tool, personal line of credit, home equity line of credit, credit line, credit card, all in one loan, right? Line, it needs to be revolving. Uh, but he says, uh, let's see, but after that, I'll be stuck on what to do with this 16,000. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, if I was in your position, my credit score is not great. I would rather go and get a secured personal line of credit to build my credit back up because now I got that inquiry. Maybe you did not watch my videos. You got excited. You watched three videos about Velocity Banking. You went, you go, you went and applied for a line of credit. They, they smacked you in the face. They said, no, you're denied. Get out of here or whatever it is, whatever it was. So now we have to go back to the drawing board, get ourselves educated, build a relationship with the bank, wait about six months or so before reapplying. In the meantime, maybe we could go and get a secured personal line of credit. You do velocity banking that way. Okay. So let's say with a secured PLOC, it's at, I don't know, 3%. And then that credit card is at 26.99%. Another credit card that's 17.99. You could consolidate using the bank's 16K while they collateralize. Can't even say the word. They uh, hold, you know, they uh, hold your 16K. There's some banks that will put your 16K in a CD in a money market account where it'll earn a, a, a rate of return while you use their dollars to go do what it is you want to do with it. So you can look into that as well. That can be really helpful. Just cleared all debt, only have a mortgage at 52,000. Would it be appropriate to start trying to uh, do velocity banking with a credit card since I don't have a line of credit? Also, would it be best to apply for a new one with a 0% interest rate? I, there are some credit cards that function like a personal line of credit. If you have a credit card that functions like a personal line of credit, meaning you're able to pull cash out without any cash advance fees, without any transaction fees, so to speak, then I would use that credit card and we could potentially do velocity banking on the mortgage if your intent is to pay off the mortgage. If it is not to pay off the mortgage, then maybe we can focus on a 10X strategy, maybe infinite banking strategy. Okay, and we can go that route. So let's stick with, you just wanna pay off debt. You just wanna become debt free. Then it might be better if the credit card does not function like a personal line of credit. It might be better to just use the credit card to run bills, especially if you get a 0% card, to run bills, get cash back rewards, points, build your credit up, maybe do debt snowball, for a period of time on your mortgage and then reapply or apply for a home equity line of credit or a personal line of credit later down the line. Hope that helps. Quick question from Patty. I have a 0% car loan that is coming in at a 30 in the cash flow index. Uh oh, uh oh, they know about cash flow index. Payment is 655, does it make sense to velocitize it? Only other debt is the mortgage. I believe based on cash flow index from Mr. Garrett Gunderson, who teaches it, I think him and I would agree. If I have a debt at 0% and he has so many videos, so many conferences where he always asks this question, if I give you a million dollars at 0%, how fast are you gonna pay me back? How fast would you pay me back? Please comment. 
Everybody, I'm asking you a question. Please comment. If I give you a million dollars at 0%, how quickly are you going to pay me back? My answer is never. If you're charging me 0%, I'm going to pay the monthly minimum payment forever. What is the incentive for me to pay off that debt? There's no incentive other than I no longer have a payment. But if I can afford the payment and you give me a million and I go take that million and go earn a 10% rate of return, 20% or I multiply them, I turn a million into two million, I would never pay that back. So I'm pretty sure the GOAT, Garrett Gunderson, the, uh, uh, the money Jesus guy would agree with me that you don't pay off 0% debt, let it roll. Go make more money. Make more money. Always. Always make more money. Once your PLOC reaches a zero balance, do you still keep paying your expenses with the personal line of credit? No. So at that point, you're weaning yourself off of the line of credit. So you're going to notice when you make your chunk from your debt tool, income goes in, expenses out, cash flow stays. Income goes in, expenses out, cash flow stays. Right around month five, month six, maybe sooner, you'll hit zero, but it may not be a true zero balance, meaning you still have to pull money from your line of credit to pay bills because there's no money in your checking account. But if you hit zero on your personal line of credit, and you still have 2,000, 3,000, 1,000 in your checking account, you want to use those dollars to pay bills, right? And then as that money runs out, then you pull from the line of credit to pay the rest of your bills. And then you'll get to a point where you're at a true zero balance where you no longer need the line of credit to pay your bills. So that is an indication that I need to make my next chunk because you don't want to stay there. You're wasting time if you're waiting to get to a true zero balance. Usually, depending on the credit limit, if it's like 20,000 and up, we usually won't wait to hit zero. As soon as we get a thousand balance, 2,000, 3,000, we are, we're, we're ready to, you know, make that next chunk towards the next debt because usually the following chunk is, is less because your debts are, are less. They're starting to come down. You're starting to wipe it out. So you build that momentum. It's pretty cool. Cool. Citibank and Chase have both offered me loans from my credit card, which gets deposited to checking. So I don't think that's, that's not exactly how the credit card I was mentioning earlier works. I don't have to take out a loan. It's just a simple withdrawal. It's like a cash advance, but without the fees. It's a good convenience check. I get charged the same interest rate or, or it might be a different rate, but not like extravagant. It doesn't jump like cash advance rates do. They jump on you and then they charge you daily compounded interest. You'd never want to do that. Okay. That's what I was telling you about those, those cash advance credit cards you get eaten alive. How can I get a lender to grant me up to 95% 100% LTV for a fixed variable HELOC? So I'm assuming that is a first position HELOC that you're looking for. I have a ton of videos on the questions to ask your bank. Okay. Um, I have a whole entire step-by-step -step process in my manifesto course. But it's also on, I also have videos on my YouTube channel where I dive into this. So just go back, go back into my videos. I also recommend looking up Mike Adams, Matthew Pillmore. They have great YouTube channels where they, they dive into, you know, how to get approved for these banks. You know, you don't necessarily have to pay for that information. But if you're looking to expedite, you kind of just go right into it. I do have a course where I kind of walk you through, give you all the steps so that you can position yourself properly, not shoot yourself in the foot, okay?